What's up everybody? OT for Tech here and today we're going to be taking a look at the Pebble Steel. Now this is going to be my full review. You've already seen the unboxing so let's get into the review part. Now the Pebble Steel is available for iOS and Android and since Android has a wide selection of phones to choose from you're going to be able to use the Pebble Steel with a lot of different phones and with iOS of course you can use it with the iPhones, the iPods, and the iPads. You're going to need to download the Pebble Steel app or the Pebble app on your iOS or Android device. Once downloaded, you can take a look here. This is the app for Android. You get a wide selection of you know watch faces for the Android app. You don't get any of the App Store apps that you can on iOS as version 2.0 has not been released yet for Android. But with Android, you get the settings dot, the settings part of the app, which you can control your notifications, such as Hangouts. You can control your notifications for SMS, Gmail, your email, music notifications, or music controls, and a bunch of different settings that you do not get with the iOS app. With the iOS app, you get things such as the 2.0 version, which features the app store, so you can choose a wide selection of um, watch faces. You can choose different apps, such as Starbucks, such as uh, pedometers, such as games. Um, I believe you can get Flappy Bird now on the Pebble Steel. So it's, it's a wide selection of different choices that you can find on the iOS versus Android. But Android is supposed to update to version 2.0 very soon and integrate the App Store experience into the Android experience. But as of right now, you get more selection with iOS than you do Android, which is quite funny considering, you know, the Galaxy Watch and things like that. And usually Android is a little bit more um, open than iOS, but in this case, you're actually getting the full experience on the iOS versus the Android. You're going to need to download companion apps in order to get the full experience out of a lot of these apps, or some of them actually just require you to download the app and then Bluetooth will link the Pebble to the app itself. It's also important to add that with the iOS version, there is going to be a one-way function only. There's no two-way. You cannot function with the Pebble Watch back to iOS. And that's just because some of the lockdowns that Apple has with the software and, you know, third-party accessories. Here's a quick look at just the settings. As you can see, you can set alarms. You can go through your previous notifications. You can go to music controls. And then there's also, you know, you get to your apps through here. You can set different kinds of notifications such as do not disturb. Um, you can turn text messaging off and you can do things like that. And then here's a quick look at just your apps that you have downloaded and we'll get more into that later on in the review. But if you want to just turn on the music, you just go to the music in the settings and just hit the middle button on the right hand side of the watch. And then it will, you know, start playing your music on your phone through the speakers on your phone. As I stated before, there are hundreds of different watch faces that you can download on the Pebble App Store for iOS or the Pebble app itself on Android. And there were many different styles. These are just some of the ones that I have downloaded and a couple of the ones came with the Pebble itself. To scroll through your watch faces, use the buttons on the right, the top and bottom button, and it will just scroll through your watch faces while it's on its resting or you know stationary clock. And if you want to switch it up throughout the day, it's very easy. You can download them throughout the day and it just links through Bluetooth and transmits the data that way. Another cool thing about the Pebble Steel, even on iOS, is the fact that a lot of third-party apps work with Pebble Steel. As you can see, TweetBot for iOS works, and I'm getting tweets and messages through TweetBot on my Pebble Steel. So it works flawlessly. I had no problems at all getting notifications or getting alerts and it was a, quite a breeze and good for when you're in meetings and things like that and you can also get hangout messages as well and it's not a problem it just instantly goes to your watch and I did not have a lag period I mean there's a short time maybe a split second where your phone hits the alert before your watch gets it but for the most part, it's pretty instantaneous and they go together simultaneously. You can also receive text messages on your Pebble Steel. So if your phone receives a text message, it will immediately be delivered to your Pebble Steel via Bluetooth. But you cannot respond to texts on your Pebble Steel. You can only view them and you can dismiss phone calls as well. There is a third party app that allows you to respond to texts, but only through email. 
And you can also receive emails on your Pebble Steel that get sent or pushed to your mobile phone. And you can view the entire email, the subject, the sender, and the actual message itself. It doesn't give you the entire message. There is a limit to how much you can view. And here's a quick look at the Starbucks app. You can actually pay for your drinks using your watch. I've already tried it, it works no problems whatsoever the guy at starbucks actually was very surprised that it worked and he had to scan it twice just to see what would happen and he was amazed by it you can view how much money is on your card if you have any free drinks and the amount of awards that you have Here's a quick app called Movable. It's basically a pedometer. It tracks your steps. It gives you goals and how much of a percentage you're at with your goal and things like that. And there are a bunch more apps. Here's a quick comparison against a regular watch. This is an Armatron watch that I use for work. And it's kind of bulky, but not so much. It's just your normal kind of watch. But as you can see, the Pebble Steel was not very big at all. And when it comes to weight, the Pebble Steel was significantly lighter than this watch. Here's a quick look at it from the side these are your selection buttons your scroll buttons the up and down buttons along with the middle button which is your selection button this is your back button or the button that you're going to use to turn on the light along with the charging port now here's how you're going to charge your pebble the cord itself is universal you can use it in any USB charging brick you may have lying around the house, whether it's an Android one or your Apple iPod or iOS device one. You're just gonna plug it in like so, plug that part into the wall, take the end of it, the actual part that's going to charge your device and plug it in. It's very simple. There is a way that you need to put it in. The red line goes on the bottom part of the pebble and it just kind of snaps right in because it is magnetic. So you're gonna feel it pull in and once it's in there, it's in there. Now there's an LED light that lets you know that your pebble is charging. When it is charging, it'll be like a orangish reddish color. When it's fully charged, it will glow green. So in my previous unboxing, I stated that the pebble steel was waterproof. We just couldn't figure out how waterproof because it was an unboxing. So I wanted to do a quick test to let you guys know how waterproof the pebble steel is. And in this test, I basically just put it in a bowl and I'm just going to pour water on it. Now they do recommend not going snorkeling with this due to the pressure and that the water could seep in through the cracks and crevices of the pebble steel watch but as you can see here it survived just me pouring water on it so far it's still sitting there i'm actually still getting notifications this is an otterbox email that you can see and this is not a gimmick or a trick as you can see it is fully submerged i actually showed you the time previously before i put it underwater and I left it in there for around 15 minutes. It was probably 12 or 13 to be exact, but we'll go ahead and pull it out now so that way you can see it's fully functioning. I had no problems whatsoever. It does have a little warning on there, but that's just because it all of a sudden linked to one of my Android devices. And since Android does not have version 2.0, that some of the weather icons on one of my watch faces could not update because it could not link to the proper app store. Now to remove the links in the band and adjust the size, you're gonna need a few things. One of these things is a microfiber towel. You're also going to need a precision screwdriver set and you're also going to need your pebble steel, of course. Now, the exact size of the bit that you need, according to this, is CRV10. I'm not sure what it's called on every other tool set, but it's basically the smallest flathead that you can find in order to unscrew the proprietary screw that we need to unscrew and remove the links themselves. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is go ahead and remove that proprietary screw. Once that is unscrewed and finished, you can remove the band and disconnect it from the face and just go ahead and push that proprietary screw back into place that way we don't lose it now once that is done go ahead and straighten out your band and look on the inside of the band you'll notice that there's little arrows go to the direction that that arrow is pointing and that means that that link is able to be removed take the flathead screwdriver and kind of push it into position. You'll see a little notch where I'm talking about in the direction the arrow is pointing. Slowly, but yet giving it a little bit of pressure, push on it. You'll hear it click and pop. That means the chain link or the, the link itself has actually become undone. Remove that little piece, the key or the locking mechanism, flip the band over and disconnect the link that you want to disconnect. It's as easy as pie, I'm telling you. I did it to three links and I had to adjust mine. Once you get it to the size that you want take the piece that you popped out the key or the locking mechanism part slide it back into place you'll hear it just click or pop in now the reason why we have the microfiber towel is so that way the watch face does not get scratched
attached, it's something the watch can rest on, or if you need to use it for pressure. Go ahead and screw back in the proprietary screw and voila, you've adjusted and resized your Pebble watch. I really did enjoy using the Pebble Steel. This was my first try at a wearable tech type watch and it was absolutely fantastic. I enjoyed getting my notifications when I was in conferences and meetings despite having to pull out my phone. I just could just look at my watch. Head to the Pebble website and check it out for yourself. It retails for 250 bucks. This is OT for Tech. I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave me a comment and make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thanks guys.